There is one type of role-playing game that the books do not prepare you for. How to run a hustle or long con game. You see, in role-playing normally, the GM is ahead of the players. It's the GM who's revealing things. The GM is always ahead. But in the hustle game, the players have to be ahead of the GM. And I'm going to teach you that technique later. But first of all, let me hand you over to the inside man. Now in this con, I am the roper. My job is to get you, the mark, to the inside man. As the roper, I need to identify a suitable mark, one who's ripe for picking. Thank you, roper, for handing the viewers over to me. The inside man. So essentially what I'm going to be doing is I am going to be convincing you the mark of the con. So what I'm going to be trying to convince you to do is to like, comment and subscribe. So in order to do this, I'm going to suggest and help you convince you just to give us a like. A nice easy thing to do. In order to help encourage you to just click that little like button, I am going to use the help of the shill. As the shill, it's my job to encourage you to hand over that like by joining in with you. I'm just going to click like as well. I think it's a great idea. Sometimes if the mark is a bit of an edgy character, then the shill can even put the like in for them. That way they have absolutely no stake whatsoever and it influences them more. Then it's time for the convincer. And in order to explain that, I'll hand you over to the fixer. As the fixer, my job is quite a versatile and varied one. I'll have to do all sorts of different things like secure an office premises for the crew to use during a particular transaction. I might get phone calls, last minute notice. Quick, go and secure me an office in a particular building. And I'll have to go and do that somehow. I might also be asked to sort out any heat from the police. I might need to pay off some officers or to distract an investigation. Or I could be dealing with fences in order to get particular props. Now, in order to deliver the convincer, I'm going to have to do something a bit special. I need to take your like and turn that into a bigger reward. Something to get your teeth into. Something that you go, yes, that was amazing. I'm now prepared to put in a big stake. So, as the fixer, I've arranged a little special something for you. Remember at the start of this video, I told you that there is a trick to get the players ahead of the GM, an essential element in any hustle game, because usually the GM is ahead of the players. The GM knows what's coming and the players don't. So how do we reverse that when we're doing a hustle game? What I'm going to do is I'm going to give each player one of these tokens. I've got four here. Give each player a token. And that token can be used for a flashback. This way, any time that the players get caught out by the unfolding events, they can flash back to earlier in the day and show how they set up this scene, how they were expecting it to happen. So, for example, our con crew here is met up in this abandoned building and they're having a little discussion about the next phase of the con, when in walks their mark. The con is now in ruins and perhaps the mark has brought some henchmen. Boom! Our con men are now in trouble. But because I've given each of my characters in this game a token to use for a flashback, they can now rewrite what happened just earlier on today. I trade in my token. Earlier on today, knowing our mark was going to turn up on us unexpectedly, I arranged a little surprise for him. Instead of an empty building, the mark finds a bustling tavern. And what the mark now sees is consistent with the storyline. Or at least the storyline our crew have given the mark. This 
get out of jail free card, allowing them to rewrite anything earlier in that day, this flashback token, is how the players stay ahead of the mark. And more importantly, ahead of the GM, who's usually the one who's in control of all of this. Now, I'm going to give you another secret, but for that, I need to get you to comment and subscribe. As the inside man, I have now just given the mark the convincer. It is time to ramp it up to the next stage of the con. As the shill, I'm going to encourage you back to the inside man, and he's going to ask for a very high price, because the stakes are now big. And if necessary, he'll try and help sell that by adding some urgency. This is our last opportunity to do this, because actually, we don't have long left on this video. If you look at the timeline, this is almost over. We've not got long in order to give you the big, big secret of running a hustle game. So, the inside man is now going to ask you the mark for the price. It's really quite simple, but like they've said, there's not enough time left. All we want you to do is subscribe. Well, I'm willing to subscribe. It doesn't... It, it's a no-brainer. We already see what the inside man can do, you know, when the fixer sorted out the convincer for the inside man to give to you. It's a no-brainer. We're going to get something amazing here. I'm in. I hit subscribe. It's at this point you learn about a few other roles in a con crew. The grease man will handle any lock picking or safes that need opening. Uh, the bag man will run away with your money. And what we're about to use right now is the wheel man. Somebody who can drive us out of here fast because we've got you subscribed and we're off.